either vegans or vegetarians here? Very carnivores. Those who wouldn't survive without meat. Whoa. And those who would eat almost anything as long as it's food. If you ask me, I consider myself a flexitarian. Yes, there's such a word. It means I have a mostly plant-based diet, but I occasionally eat meat. And that is important because it's good for my health and it's good for the health of the environment too. But people are eating more and more meat and lesser fruits and vegetables. In a 2003 World Health Report, there's an estimated 1.7 million deaths caused because of no consumption of fruits and vegetables. So obviously, this heavy meat diet harms our health and it also harms the environment. Two-thirds of the greenhouse gas emissions from the agriculture sector comes from the meat industry, specifically industrial, industrial meat. So if you can see here, agriculture, forestry, and other land use accounts to 24% of greenhouse gases. Due to a growing population, we resort to intensive farming, which uses a lot of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, which harm the health of our farmers, puts toxic chemicals in our food, and pollutes the air, water bodies, and the soil. Agri agriculture contributes to climate change due to greenhouse gas emissions. Because of climate change, there's more frequent occurrence of typhoons and droughts destroying crops. And now we have food security problems. What I'm trying to say is everything is interconnected, but we're so disconnected to the earth that we don't really see the connection. We're so disconnected to the food that we eat that we don't really know what we're eating or how it's made or where it comes from. For most people here in this room, we have no time to go to the market or cook our own food, that we resort to the convenience of buying processed artificial food. The average age of farmers in the Philippines is 57, and this number goes up every year. It doesn't come as a surprise because not so many young people would want to go into farming. Despite being an agricultural country, the agriculture sector does not really receive much support from the government. Our farmers, together with fishermen, are still considered the poorest of the poor in the Philippines. Farming is a labor-intensive job, but they don't receive much. It's looked down upon, and they even incur debt. Debt when they borrow money to buy synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, because they heavily depend on this. And now when the typhoons or droughts destroy the crops, they have no way of paying the money that they owe. So considering all of these things, it's no wonder that these farmers themselves wouldn't want their children to become farmers. And this is what we're trying to change. This is what hashtag Ayanghampasluba Ecological Agriculture Movement is trying to change. Ayanghampasluba is an advocacy movement supported by Greenpeace and is composed of young farmers, agriculturists, environmentalists, and other advocates who would want to elevate the stature of farming promote ecological agriculture, and advocate for mindful consumption. The word hampas lupa, as you know, has a negative connotation. We usually hear it in telenovelas, referring to poor people or good-for-nothing individuals. But hampas lupa literally means paghahampas ng lupa or tingin the land. This is what our farmers do. 